here comes a couple of fellas. I guess they're just about the top deal in the country because they've proven it in the past year or year and a half. So let's make welcome Johnny and Jack, the Tennessee Mountain Boys. <laughs> singing one of their biggest hits across the nation. Well, that's awfully fine. We're always pleased to have top artists on our program. And speaking of top artists, here's a boy right here. You know, a lot of us shout, a lot of us holler, and a lot of us try to sing, but here's a boy who can really tune a song the way it should be done. Let's make welcome George Morgan singing. <laughs> Because you sweet dear, I wanna 
should be sung. You know, any program of this type certainly needs a little humor in it, so we've got the girl that can certainly put the humor in the program, so let's bring her out here, a girl with a great sense of humor, Miss June Carter! I'm just a feeling so good, I just come out here as quick as I could, because you know I had a little surprise party right before the show. Oh? It come off real good, too. I got so many pretty things. Did you know my boyfriend gave me an engagement ring? Oh, no, did he? Yes, he did. Well, that is he, good news. He, he did. He gave me the nicest little ring, but we had a, an embarrassing situation. Oh, no. Yeah, because well, he dropped the box at coming. He did? Yeah. Well, now, what's embarrassing about that? Oh, it was awful. Cracker Jack spilled all over. <laughs> Oh. I felt good about the present you give me, though, way up. Did you like that it? That was nice. That's L good. Little cuckoo clock. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he, he did. He gave me a cuckoo clock, and he got the notion he was going to fix it. There wasn't nothing wrong with it, but he oh. was going to fix it, so he took all of its insides out. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you I did. <laughs> and then he stuffed them all back in there. I believe you tore it up when you done that with it. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, you got to experiment once in a while. You tore it up. I know you have. Have it, I really? Yeah, it don't act like it did. Hmm. You know, What's wrong with now, it? instead of coming out and cuckooing like it ought to, yeah. runs out backwards and hollers, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> Junie, yes. say, why don't you sing and let's shut up about the cuckoo clock? I'm going to if I can find a swallowing place, so I think I'll swallow first and then sing about That's it. That's a good okay. idea. <laughs>
having a lot of action in a program of this type, and we certainly just had it there, with the grand old Opry Square dancers. So I think it would be only good to do something for the folks out there that request our songs every day. Here's one that they've been requesting for the last six or eight months. <laughs> This morning I got up a little bit early and, well, I started out to the well and come back and started out to the barn and come back and started out to the hen house and come back. <laughs> My suspenders was hung on a gate post. <laughs> I'm gonna sing now. I wanted to pick a little tune on the banjo, and this is the way it goes. Oh, tell me if you love me, Kitty Clyde. Oh, tell me if you love me, Kitty Clyde. Put your little hand in mine and say I'll be nice. Tell me if you love me, Kitty Clyde. Oh, who hasn't seen Kitty Clyde? there and it's very wonderful to have him but right now let's bring a, a young lady out here that has a great sense of humor and she's born down in grinder switch and she always has some of the longest tales to tell us she has a little partner called rod brassfield but first here's minnie pearl <laughs> Well, sir, I'll tell you now, I was supposed to meet my friend Rodney Brett. 
be here, but before he I comes in, I want to just... Man. Well, what's the matter, Rodney? What's the trouble, Rodney? What's the trouble? I'm mad. What's the trouble, I'm just burned up. What's the trouble, Rodney? Well, look at this here note I got through the mail. I got that to the post office today. Read it there, what it says. It right. says, Rodney Bradfield, stay away from my wife or I'll shoot you. Yeah. Rodney, what are you going to do? Well, what can I do? The fool didn't sign his name. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just, Minnie, I'd just give anything I know of if I could just get my hands on that guy. Oh, really? Whoever, Rodney? whoever written me this note, I'd just love to get my hands on it. I'd give him a piece of my mind. Don't do it, Rodney. You can't afford it. I know it, but... <laughs> 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 Rodney, you wouldn't do it anyway. Ain't you a smart idiot. Oh, Rodney, you wouldn't do <laughs> it. You I'd wouldn't do it at all because yesterday when that fella bumped into you on the street, you didn't do a thing. He stood there and called you every name under the sun. I know, man. And you didn't say a word. I know, but you see, he had done used all the good words. <laughs> oh, Rodney. <laughs> to say to you, Rodney, I'm ashamed of you today. Makes me sit I'm, oh, I'm ashamed of you, Rodney. I seen you back there flirting with all these pretty little girls back yeah. there. Hey, well, listen. They're those aren't dangerous. Listen, you are a spoke bird. Listen, you're a spoke bird. You're a promise. I'm a spoke bird. Yes, you enthusiasts promise to one another. Yeah. Don't you go looking at another girl. Now, look, Minnie, I got news for you. Yeah? Just because I'm on a diet don't mean I can't look at the menu. Oh. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed. Well, you're having better luck than me and my feller. Now, how are you and Hezzy getting along? We ain't I, doing I so good. No, we ain't doing so good. This morning I was in the kitchen and I was talking to Mammy. And I said, Mammy, I said, I'm tired of all these here southern fellers not looking at me. Yeah. I think I'll go up north and marry me a Yankee. A Yankee? Oh, it just, oh, it made us so mad. She said, no daughter of mine will ever marry a Yankee. Yeah? No daughter of mine will hey, ever man. marry a Yankee. Wait a minute, Minnie. Listen. <laughs> Don't pay no attention to what your mama says. <laughs> Go ahead and marry one of them Yankees. It's yeah. the best way I know of for us down here in Nashville down south to get even with them. You know? oh. <laughs> to marry one as this the other. Right now, we got that young lady that is our top uh, female singer across the nation. I'm speaking about Miss Kitty Wells, so let's make her welcome for another song. <laughs>
They all went to mill on a very fine day. Stole a bag of barley and they all ran away. Well, the miller, he chased them mad as he could be. Put them in a big barn, put them on the sea. They all got together and they played a little tune. They played all fussy and brought them to the moon. The moon. Yes, you ought to take the trouble on a bright starry night. I looked up in the heavens while the stars shined bright. The five little fiddlers you very sure to see. A long John, Jimmy, John, a paper John tree. A long John, Jimmy, John, a paper John tree. A long John, Jimmy, John, a paper John tree.